Now, there are many ways to create a YouTube intro, and some of those ways require you to pay money to a video editor. Nah, we're not gonna do that today. Just watch this video, and I'm going to show you how to do that for free. So let's get into it in five, four, three, two, one. So first thing first, go to canva.com. Like there's so many things you could create in Canva. But in today's video, we're gonna focus on creating an intro for YouTube. Go to the search bar and search for video. Once you start typing it, of course, you're gonna see the suggested option. So just click on video. Now, if you want to, you could click on any of these video templates, but let's start from scratch first. So click on create a blank video. It should look something like this. So let me do a little brief overview of what everything is. So on the left side, your first option is gonna be the templates. These are all the different templates you could choose from. Um, they have real estate templates, sell videos, health videos, but you could choose any of them and it doesn't matter. In the bottom, you have uploads, which is very important. And as you can see, I have <laughs> I uploaded a lot of things because I use Canva to create my thumbnails. That's where you could upload your music, logo, whatever that you want to upload and add in your YouTube intro. You can use that section to do it. In the bottom is your photos. That's where you have all the pictures. These are stock photos, so you could use any of these photos and you're not going to get in trouble. In the bottom of that is a section called elements. These are different shapes and things you could add to your video. These are the different categories of options that you could use. On the bottom of that, which is text, these are the different texts that you could add in the video. Everything is customized for you, all the fonts, everything is already customized. All you have to do is take the text and just drag it to the video. In the bottom of text, you have the section called audio, which is self-explanatory again. You could upload your own music. You don't have to use the music from Canva. Some of it is free and some of it you have to buy. In the bottom of that, which are videos, it's going to have specific videos based on the template that you chose. But when you click on video, you could choose from any type of video you want. Let's just say if I search up car, is going to show me different videos of cars. On the bottom of that, you have your background. This is just to change the background of your video. Or if you added a photo to the video and then you want to change the background of it, you could choose that. So that's about it. Basically, that's a little brief overview of what everything is. I'm going to go back to the first option, which is templates, because right now we have a blank canvas. Now, if you look in the bottom, the bottom is also blank. Think of the bottom as your timeline. Whatever you put in the bottom, that's what's going to show up in the video. And right now it's blank because we didn't choose a template yet. I'm going to choose this one where it says YouTube video, but again, you don't have to. Just because you're creating a YouTube intro, you don't have to select YouTube intro. You could choose whatever you want. Go ahead and scroll and look at the different templates. As you can see, once I click on one, it already showed up on the canvas. If you don't want it, all you have to do is just click on another template and it's going to change automatically. So let me look for a good one that catches my eye. This one looks pretty good. When I clicked on the template, it gave me three options. I'm going to go ahead and start editing this one. Instead of this title, I'm going to change it to the title of my YouTube channel. My slogan is going to be being at the edge isn't safe but the view is better all right so let me shrink it to do that highlight it and go all the way on top then i'll be able to shrink it okay so now that looks better if you want to customize or edit any of the text click on the text 
all of these options are gonna are going to be clickable you could choose from any one of those you could make the font bigger with this you could change the color once i click on the border i could change the color of that as well maybe i could make that white mm, i don't like that change it back okay so this looks okay to me if i want to add the next video right because i don't want to leave it like that take this and just drag it so i'm going to change this text and put video editing tips i think i'm going to go ahead and change <laughs> and change the background for my first slide because this looks better So to add a new template, let me click on the plus sign where it says add page. Now, if I want to add an, a photo, all I have to do is just go to photos. Let's just say if I want to pick this photo, all I have to do is take it and drag it. For the third option, instead of choosing a photo, let me go back to the template and pick this option instead. I'm going to replace the background. Let me change the text. Since I'm talking about cameras and this part of my video, so I'm going to go to the video section. Now I can insert any of these. The videos are pretty long, so I want to make it shorter. To make the clips shorter, all you have to do is click on them and click on the scissor icon. It's going to allow you to select the clip that you want to pick. So I think I just want to show this section only. Click done. Okay, that's perfect. So now this one, I have to cut it too. All I have to do is click on it and click on the scissor icon. Now I'm just going to select the length of the video or the part that I want to add. Let me add another slide. This one looks good. Let me just edit the text. And the last thing I'm going to add is my logo. Go to upload. So my logo is on my desktop. If I want to change the background, all I have to do is just click on background on the left side. If you want to, you can also add your own video. All you have to do again is just click on add page. So in the blank canvas, just go to uploads, click on upload media, click on device, and just search for your video. Um, I have a couple of videos in my computer, so I can show you guys an example of that. Now it might take some time for the whole video to upload. It's taking a while for it to upload, so I'm just going to use the power of editing just to fast forward this. Once you drag it and you add in the timeline, it's going to import the whole video. If you don't want to import the whole video, like I said before, just click on the scissor icon. And I'm going to choose what section that I want to import. So now what's happening is I'm hearing the audio in the video. Now if I want to turn off the audio, all I have to do is click on it and then just put it down. Okay, I think I want to change the text. I don't like the text anymore. <laughs> Maybe I could use this text. And okay, I think that should be it. So let me check the preview so I can see how it looks. Okay, um, that looks decent. It's not what I want, but I'm just using this for example purposes. So just to end it off, I want to add an audio. If you want to use the audio from Canva, you can do so. 
just click on audio and you could select whichever audio you want i want to use my own audio so if you want to use your own audio as well just click on uploads upload media it's safer to use the audio from the youtube library because they do provide you with a lot of music when it comes to their library take it and drag it on the timeline once you are done click on download video and make sure to select mp4 high quality videos all pages and click on download so let's look at the final product This is not perfect at all because I was just rushing to it. I just wanted to show you guys how to do it. Of course, when you're creating your YouTube intro, you know, take your time. I know for a fact that your YouTube intro is going to look 10 times better than this. If you enjoyed this video and you learned a lot, make sure to like and subscribe in this channel. I have a lot of these type of videos coming up. So my name is Edgy and I'm out. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to leave the comments. Feel free to leave a comment on, on the comment section. Thank you so much. Ah! <laughs> <laughs>